Well, hi everybody, David Cross back with you. And I wanted to create another uh, quick video that is actually an Excel spreadsheet add-in for administrators to help you sort your IP addresses within your spreadsheets on all four octets so that everything sorts properly versus the default comparison sort that Excel provides, which only sorts it up to the third octet if everything's the same. And really, uh, so you can kind of see that example here, and this is doing an IP address sort of my spreadsheet, but in comparison order, and you'll see that in that order, the .1, .10, 100, all come before .11, 110, all before .12, and so on down the list. So when Excel sorts a column and string compares this, it does not sort the IP addresses properly. And what many in, uh, individuals and administrators have done is to split that string into their four octet components and then sort each of those individually. Well, I'm going to show you an easier way, and I actually program with this in it to help me build out list of IP addresses, fill in gaps of things by simply dealing with math versus having to deal with the IP address. So to begin with, as you see that column is here, I have a function which I wrote a couple years ago, actually two, that are called int IP, which takes a long IP address or IP and converts it to an integer. Uh, actually, uh, takes the integer and converts it to IP, and then IP to int, which takes the IP address and converts it to integer. That allows us then to sort. So what we're going to show here, and basically, is how to create this plugin for Excel so that you can access these user-definable functions and methods to sort your IP successfully. All right. So the first thing we want to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of all of this because it will save that if I don't. And I want to uh, go ahead and completely exit out of everything. And I want to start over from scratch and start up a new Excel spreadsheet. Now the first thing is to note, and I'm going to put this link in the description, I created a text file that has these two functions on my website that all you need to do is collect the text file and then copy everything, so we're just going to paste it. You know, it's pretty much that simple. So in your Excel, uh, whether you know 2013, 2003, I think 2016 as well, go ahead and open up a blank spreadsheet uh, workbook, and then you want to press Alt F11 to bring up the Visual Basic for Applications. Now here, we're going to right-click on the VBA project and do Insert Module, and quite literally the only thing I'm going to do here is paste those two functions with the option explicit line and file close return to Excel. That's it. From here, what we want to do is we want to save this as a XLA plugin. And I'm going to show you what happens here when I select the location and I choose XLA as the type. My application automatically knows that I put these into a Microsoft add ins directory. So, what I want this to read is effectively IP to int and this will be XLA extension. So now that our XLA is stored, what we want to do is I want to exit out, and then I want to go back into Excel and show you where the plugin is. So when you go into your Excel, let's look for other workbooks, and then click the options so that we can get to the add-ins menu link on the left-hand navigation, and then navigate to the bottom of the screen, select Excel add-ins, and click go. And then what we want to do here is we want to browse, and by browsing the add-ins, it should take you right to your directory we just created, select our IP to ends, and we want to override if we had one there, and that's it. We're going to select OK, and from this point forward, that plugin will be in our spreadsheet so that every time we click the function key to do some comparison, you'll see a user-defined category and then IP to int and into IP will appear there. And then once you start typing in your IP addresses, just simply do the function, select your IP to int, your column, and you can copy and paste that all the way down to apply the different formulas across your whole column. So that's it. Uh, and hopefully that'll be you know all you need to have for this, but that'll help you out and save you some time. I know it has me you know quite a few hundred hours <laughs> over the years. So uh, good luck, and uh, if you have any questions about that, let me know. I'm going to put this link in the description of this video, and feel free to download it and use it in your application. And uh, you know, go from there. Hope that helps. Take care, everybody.